While the built-in Extra Charts wizard provides the user with numerous customization options at runtime, there may of course be cases where you don't want the end user to modify critical settings such as the data source. In this video, you'll learn how to display the Extra Charts wizard while hiding some of the data-related tabs. I'll start with a new WinForms application. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to work with a small list of data. I right-click on the form and switch to code view. In the form1.cs file, I add the following small class. In the forms load event, I create a list object. Then, I manually populate it with some data. I switch back to design view. From the toolbox, I drag and drop a chart control onto the form. The chart wizard is invoked automatically. I switch over to the series page and remove the two automatically generated series. I'll be creating one later from code. I click finish to close the wizard. I select the empty chart control and set its dock property to fill. I return to code view. Within the form's load event, I add the following code to bind the chart control to the sample list of data. Notice that I need to create a reference to the devexpress.extracharts namespace. I switch to design view. From the toolbox, I'll drag and drop a simple button onto the form. This button will be used to launch the chart wizard at runtime. I set its text property and dock it to the bottom of the form. I double click on the button to create a handler for its click event. First, I'm going to add a reference to the devexpress.extracharts.wizard namespace. Back inside the event handler, I create a new chart wizard and assign it to the chart control on the form. Then I'll create an instance of the data page of the wizard. For this, I use the wizard data page class. Next, I add two tabs to the hidden page tabs collection of the data page. Finally, I call the show dialog method to display the wizard. And I'm done. I run the application to see the results. I click on the button and the chart wizard is invoked. I switch to the data page. Here, you can see that the series binding and auto created series tabs are no longer displayed. This will prevent the end user from modifying any data source related settings. For more information, please refer to the Extra Charts documentation. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.